So, I just found out something that's not very nice. Um, so, we're settling planet Carbonite, which just got a very nice atmosphere. And it looks beautiful. But the problem is, now that it has atmosphere, it has a water level. Uh, which couldn't be measured beforehand. And even though it doesn't have uh, water yet, um, at least not in the form of lakes, it um, probably will have. And if you can see my altitude, it's going down, 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 down. Too low terrain. Pull up. And we're almost at zero altitude, which would be sea level. But then now it has brackets, which actually apparently means that you're below sea level. So <laughs> my colony will be about 300 meters below sea level, um, which completely defeats the purpose of settling on a terraform planet, because I would still need domes to live here. Uh, you can uh, settle underwater, you will just need domes, and the entire idea of settling <laughs> here on carbonite was that I wouldn't need domes. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a, a waste of stellar credits, of course, and a bit of waste of, of, of all the time and, and resources in this um, on this dome. However, uh, not much is lost, I mean, it, it's, it's easy to get back, it's mostly the time. Um, so I guess I'll have to uh, give up this uh, this settlement um, and then I'll just have to find another place to settle. So I'll be doing that. Uh, I will not make a, a video of how I decide where to settle. You've all seen that. Um, but I thought I'd made it, make a video uh, about this because it's quite an important thing if you ever decide to settle on a planet that will be terraformed at some point. Um, so, a couple of days later, and it seems I made the right decision. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is Carbonite. Uh, looks very, very different from what it did before, right? So, I can see my uh, dome there, but it seems to be quite far underwater. Huh? Yeah. Too low terrain. It's actually half Pull underwater. Up. Too low terrain. Pull up. It looks cool though. But yeah, so I actually abandoned this colony, but for some reason it's still here. Uh, it still has the name and all. So I made a second one, which I should actually rename, which shouldn't be underwater. Because <laughs> this one I built uh, quite high up. Uh, let us see. There we are. So that's. Uh, very safe. So yeah, uh, it seems that um, terraforming indeed uh, puts water uh, on your planet. Um, however, as far as I know, before you have an atmosphere on the planet, you cannot measure uh, what the water level would be. So once you know if a planet is being terraformed, wait for a bit until you can see what uh, the water level would be and then put down your colony. Otherwise you would be wasting credits. And of course if you would already build a lot of domes and they're going to be underwater, you would also be wasting um, a lot of resources and time. So yes, that's uh, one of the intricacies of terraforming that nobody knew about, but uh, that's the fun of the game to discover new things of course. So um, yeah, if you we're planning to settle on, on carbonite or settled on uh, carbonite. Make sure that you're not underwater. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose of settling on a, on a terraform planet. So, hope you find it useful and see you next time.